Hello, my name's Spencer, and for those of you that haven't met me before, I'm the UK dealer for Pentashop. Today's video is another how-to video, but one with a slight difference. Today I'm going to be talking about our FLP15, which is our top-of-the-range pistol. But what I'd like to do is answer one of the most pressing questions I get asked when I'm at a competition. So most of the people that I meet are um, either have children just starting, or they're just starting themselves, or they are just getting into the competition. And the biggest question they ask is, what do we recommend? Well, it's really difficult because we don't know or without talking to you, I can't find out what in the cycle you are or where you are in the cycle. You might be just a beginner. You might have never picked up one of these things before. You might have gone through a lot of training with your school or your children's school and then want to take the next step up to an elite weapon. I don't know. So I can, when I meet you at the competition, I can answer those questions. I'm going to try and do that today with a video because I'm not meeting you. So... You may or may not know, we do four different types of simulator. The cheapest one we do, or the most value for money one that we do, is the eStart, which is our newest simulator. It is completely automatic, um, and it has one thing, and one thing only, that can be adjusted, and that's the trigger. You can move the trigger backwards and forwards, dependent on the trainee who's using the gun, whether you've got a big hand, a little hand, you can move the trigger backwards and forwards. That's it, it was designed to be a training gun. It was designed to be an, a catch-all for everybody. So, why do people buy more expensive equipment when they're competing? Well, laser run, pentathlon is no different to any other sport in the world. The more you pay, the more advantage you get, in theory. Well, in practice, this is what I'm going to try and show you today. So, you've bought an FLP, or you're about to buy an FLP 15, this is what you're going to get. Lovely box. Cloth, keep it dry, keep it, uh, wipe it down. 4mm hex screw for the grip and some screwdrivers and obviously one pistol so the FLP 15 just like the Evo and if you've seen any of the other um, videos this will make a lot of sense to you in fact you've already seen it so I will not go into it too much so these things are designed to be adjustable so it becomes your own personal piece of equipment I'll explain so the grip, just like with the Evo, just like with the GLS-17, if you put your hex grip in, hex screw in there, you can move the grip. That will then depend on how you are shooting, will then depend on how you like it. I like it all up to the top, as most people do, so that you can extend. That's one thing that you can adjust. What else can you adjust? Well, one of the things that we realised when we were designing the Evo is there is another way that we can have the sights on these things. We're constantly hearing that sights move or they jiggle or they click, click, click and they go out of, out of sync. So before every competition, you have to re-sight. So what we've done, this is another FLP 15. What we've done is we've taken the issue away. The idea being is that these sights, you can see, they are fixed. They do not move at all. If you want sights that move, you can have sights that move. These are the click, click, click ones, they slide in there, job done. What we've also done is with the speed and the accuracy of laser run and modern pentathlon now, we believe that having fiber sights, these are green fiber sights, and red fiber sights, make it slightly easier when you're lifting up to train on the target. However you train, however your coaches teach you how to do it, we offer the fiber sights and obviously traditional black sights if you prefer. So what's different? Well, because these don't move, something has to. So what we've done is the laser is literally in the barrel here and it's adjusted by a grub screw there, up and down, and a grub screw there, left and right. So the idea is, is that as you're targeting it, you can then adjust with the tools that we have here, you like that, here, this little one, here, slides into the grub screw, and then as I move it left, it'll go down and up as I move it. On this one, it'll go left and right. So you can adjust it, here's a word for you, infinitesimally, literally, tiny touch, over 10 meters, all of a sudden it's over there. 
tiny touch back, 10 meters all the way back here. Over five meters, not so much, but you can get it. So depending on how you shoot, now I know some coaches will say you shoot for the middle, shoot for below, whatever you're doing, you don't have to chase the dot anymore because you can just say, right, okay, that's a little bit high. I'll change it a little bit low. Give it another go, bosh. So we decided to do that as across all of our models, um, all of our equipment, that's how they work. So the different grips as well, actually, I might add. So we have a wooden grip. These are called anatomical grips. So this is a right hand anatomical because it's mine, I'm right handed. You can have exactly the same thing on the left. We do them in wood. We also have a rubber version. Some people prefer these, most people prefer the wood. And we also do an ambidextrous version as well, which is left and right handed for trainers. But frankly, if you're buying one of these, you're gonna buy it right handed, whatever the size is that you need, which we have a size gra uh, graph that we can send you, or you can see it on our website. And you would make this so that the weapon is yours. So when you pick it up, that's mine. So this is mine, so I know whenever I pick it up. So what else is adjustable? Well, the weights are adjustable. So you'll see this one has a weight in the barrel, or two weights in the barrel, and they move up and down. Some people like a weighted front, others, like myself, they like the weight over the grip. So all the weights here, so as I'm lifting up. Why, would the, why is it important? Well, if you know anything about laser run, then you'll know that your children or you are gonna be doing at least three six hundreds, and you're not gonna be jogging them which means when you come back to the firing point, you're gonna be a bit tired. If it's a bit windy and you're a bit tired and these things are light as balsa, then you'll be doing this. So the idea of the weights, the weights in the grip, weighted gun, is that as you lift it up, because it's heavy, you're nice like that. That's adjustable, obviously, as you can do it. You can have four types of weights. These are 40 grams, um, two, pretty much. You don't want any more than that because otherwise it does get a little bit um, heavy. What else can you adjust? Well, the big thing for me is the trigger trigger assembly so if you watch what I do so this is my gun when I pull the trigger touch literally little touch yeah or you can have let's say for instance this one where you can take pressure then fire so what happens is you have a screw here and two screws here now when you move them and I'm not going to do it because you can do it when you play you can have you can change the pressure on the trigger here to be almost literally immediate. You can change with this one, the front one, how quickly it pulls when it fires. That's down to you and your preference. I like touch. Daisy, and I know a lot of others who come from a pony club background, like to take up pressure and then fire. That's up to you, it's completely down to you. You can move the trigger backwards and forwards on these, you can move them up and down, because again, if you've got a small hand and your trigger is down the bottom, you wanna lift it up, which you can do. You can even move them left and right, depending on the pad, where you want the pad to be. So this becomes your own personal weapon. I know I keep saying it, but when you're running into a shooting area and you're picking up a gun that you've never used before or one that is being used by everybody else, then you're hoping it's gonna work. When you're picking up one that's yours, you know the only thing that's gonna make you miss is you, not the gun. And frankly, that's why people buy FLP 15s and Evos. What have I missed? Well, each one, as you know already, this is a quick fire, it's a quick start handle. Yep, the idea behind it is so that you're literally firing. So easy. Yep. What I am going to show you, which I have shown on other videos as well, is a quick thing here. So I'm just going to undo this plate here. There's a plate just on the left of the barrel. Just so you don't ring me, which I do get occasionally, say, Spence, how do I change the battery? Well, the battery's in there. And you'll see on there it says alkaline. Now, we're not suggesting that you only use alkaline batteries. But what I am suggesting is that when you want to do a competition, you use an alkaline battery. Because what an alkaline battery will do is it will tell you if it's dead. Like that one is. So let's try another one. What do I mean by that? Well, the guns are tested and they don't leave the factory where each gun will allow you to use 50,000 shots per one of these. But what we don't do is we don't want to leave anything to chance. So although when you're training, you can use lithium batteries, you can use rechargeable batteries, we recommend that when you are in competition, you use alkaline. Why? 
because when you first push it in and you have your magnet, literally touch the magnet to the side and you'll see the blue light flashing. I'll do that again. You put the battery in, two, three, four. Right. Once you put a new battery in, it will tell you how much charge it's got. It will flash up to four times, four being 100, three being 75. You can guess the rest. So as it goes down, you know where you are with this pistol, which is something that we feel is really important when you're in competition. Training, not so. Obviously, you can train with these things until they're dead. Yeah. Rechargeable batteries, full straight off. Lithium, full straight off. Alkaline, nice and slowly. So that's just a tip for you. You'll notice, as I said, there's a blue light there. That tells you whether it's on or not. Just above it, as I've mentioned on other videos, is a little uh, micro switch that allows you... Now, what's that for? Well, firstly, it tells us the laser's working fine, just in case you have an issue. But more importantly, when you are zeroing the sights, instead of constantly doing that and hoping that you're getting it right, you just let the laser do its job because it's aimed at the target where you want to go and then you sight and you laze up, line up the sights, my apologies. There you go, that's firing exactly. So if I was to aim just below the ball, I know that's where the laser's gonna go. Just a little bit to give you a hand in your journey. Put that back on, Put that back up. And I think that's pretty much the FLP 15. If you've got any more questions, you know where I am. Thanks very much. Cheerio.